Hey guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio. Today is really exciting. This is Tahoma. Now, basically, Tahoma is Jeremy Bullock's version of Open Tunes. Jeremy Bullock is aka Turtle Tooth. He's a large contributor to the Open Tunes development, so thank you for that. And he released this optimized for ease of use and more robust stop motion animation version of Open Tunes called Tahoma. It's actually a completely different software, although it is compatible with OpenTunes project. So I decided I'd do a first impressions video just to see if I can get a feel for Tahoma. It's pretty similar to OpenTunes, so I don't think that'll be hard and see if I'll use it in the future. So this is, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the software right now. If you want more detail, you can check out my friend Darren T's video on it. He did a detailed explanation on how to download it um, and stuff like that. And it's really cool. So definitely check that out if you're interested in learning more about this. So when you start, you start with this thing and I've already made a test. So I'm just going to click on that and we're just going to go back to this. Already the interface looks 100% cleaner. This looks awesome. So I'm just going to create a layer here. All you got to do is hover over to this thing and just tap and we should be good to go. Tunes raster has been changed to smart raster. So let's just, let's just hit smart raster. Uh, let's see. All right. All right. So this is pretty much the same stuff. Um, I do like this add color button that that's pretty cool it's a lot easier than having to right click every single time and hit new style which is cool you can just kind of add colors like so so i got the raster brushes in here let's try these out one thing that they added that's really cool is you see these tooltips right on the bottom um they actually tell you they actually he's added more brush commands so we can hold let's see if we hold shift we can do sh straight lines without having to go to the geometry tool which is awesome if we ever find any bugs though we can always just report them to turtle tooth himself and he'd be glad to help us out with those if we can do if we do control it does vertical or horizontal lines to switch to this color get that brush size up just a little bit let's see like that there you go so that's cool yeah so this is perfectly vertical so you don't really have to guess which is really awesome because this is going to work out really nicely for making perspective grids. You can do control plus alt to add a vanishing point. Let's see. Let's add one right here. So I'm actually going to add a horizon line. How do I do that again? Control to do that. Nice. This is sick. This is literally like the performance of open tunes with the functionality of open tunes Morievna, which is awesome. And it's, com it's simpler than both of them. So if you hold alt, you can actually draw lines to the vanishing point. Okay, so if you can just drag in whatever area. That's cool. I literally downloaded OpenTunes Morievna in order to work on a perspective scene in Castle Dark. And now seeing that some of these tools are implemented into this optimized, easier to use version of OpenTunes, this is really exciting. I, it's not, it's actually not OpenTunes, it's Tahoma. Um, that's going to be really hard for me to get used to saying, by the way. Um, all right, let's, let's just try drawing something. I like the ability to just sort of make a layer by just hitting this this button right here. It's really useful. You don't have to like, it's just easier, you know? All we gotta do to add some color is just hit this plus sign and then we're set. So I'm gonna make this green color that can um, act as my fill in for these invisible areas because according to the style I like to draw on, I don't wanna fill in these areas um, with lines. Also, if you haven't noticed, is completely new icons and Darren goes into the explanation of that in his video a little bit too. Um, they look great. And the whole interface is like, has been like overhauled. In fact, they even have more themes. And yes, to me, more themes matters. So they have dark, they have darker, they have light, which I'm excited about. This looks, this looks awesome. Okay. I was always, I never got to use the old versions of flash, but 
I always wanted to use an animation software with this light theme. And so I'm happy that he included the extra themes. I'm really appreciative of that. We also have medium, which is more familiar to the regular open tunes and neutral. Okay, that's cool too. Let's roll with light for now. Let's roll with, let's do this. Have a little fun today. If you're wondering, you can also have dark icons. So you can switch to those. I think you probably have to reset the program. So let's do that. Nice, look at that. We got dark icons, that's so awesome. Oh man, I, I'm, I'm gonna love this. A, a truly light theme has been what, I, what I've wanted for such a long time. It, it just looks so, I don't know if it looks vintage or it just looks cool to me. I've always liked having the light theme, so really awesome. And having the dark icons there, man, guys. Okay, so the general test is pretty good. Um, so far, I'm liking it a lot. I'm just gonna do a quick animation in here. Um, just to, before we close, I just wanted to get a quick animation here and finish off my first impressions with the performance of animation in this thing. Oh, we, we got a crash. So yeah, um, <laughs> I, I forgot to save that entire bouncing ball animation, but that seems pretty typical with open tunes as well. Once it gets a little overloaded, it does tend to crash, but so far this looks really, really good guys. Will I switch to using Tahoma for most of my tutorials? Yeah, probably. Thank you guys for watching. It's likely that in the future, I will be making more videos about Tahoma using it to teach um, animation because it's a lot simpler and I think you beginners will find it very attractive and a lot easier than open tunes, especially with just little things like adding colors like this. If you want to join me in the bug hunt of Tahoma, just download it in the description below. I recommend you watch Darren T's video about it first and then download it, try it out, record some of the bugs that you find so we can make this software the best that it can be. With that said, I do want to congratulate some people on my Discord who joined the bouncing ball challenge a few weeks ago. Here is my favorite on the screen right now. Congratulations. The favorite that I saw there was by someone named Axel Orca, I believe. So congratulations. Your bouncing ball animation was awesome. And if you want to join in more of these challenges, head down in the description to join my Discord channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Special thanks to Owen Art for supporting this channel on Patreon. If you want to see the latest news about my film Castle Dark, gain access to exclusive tutorials and behind the scenes content, head over to the link below or on the end screen to my Patreon page.